All right, everybody. We uh, picked up a few more tools, so let's have a look at them. All right, we've been a little bit behind in this stuff here, but uh, anyway, here we go. So these here, picked these up on uh, off of eBay for a pretty decent deal, but they're a set of uh, radius gauges. So these things here, let me find a good size one, I guess. Uh, I don't know if you guys have seen these before, but you know, all these curves here, they're all different sizes. This one's three eighths and we go from a uh, one thirty second radius up to a half inch radius. So I needed this for my uh, project with the hand wheel because I kind of needed to figure out what the radius on the on the outer ring was. Anyway, this is definitely a vintage set. It's in kind of rough shape the packaging here is anyway, but the tools were good. Those were pretty pretty reasonable. Uh, next thing here. Okay, we'll go with this. And these are these are a set of uh, thread measuring wires. I gotta say this is kind of flimsy packaging, but it comes with a little bit of an instruction sheet here. Tells you how to use them. And the way these work, let's see if I can get closer here, but there's a whole bunch of different sizes and there's three bars um, of each size. And they depend, you know, like if you're measuring really big threads, well, you need a big pin. Really tiny ones, you need little teeny tiny ones like that. I mean, those are, when they call them thread measuring wires, those really are wire. Anyway, you put them on there and then you measure over it with a micrometer. And then you can figure out precisely and very accurately what that, you know, how close you are to getting to your thread when you're cutting them on the lathe. Yeah, I gotta come up with something better to put this into. These are a set of imports, uh, you know, they can get kind of spendy if you if you try to buy a, you know, brand new set of American made ones. And, you know, as much as I, I'm not a big fan of Harbor Freight, uh, one moved into town, so I bought my set of, self here, a set of uh, pin punches. I've been needing some trying to find some sterrets or something like that, but good Lord, they're just ridiculously expensive. And these are, these were very cheap. So, uh, these will make do until I can find a, a good set, a set of long ones, a set of short ones. I wish, you know, the, the long ones only got what five sizes there. You got a whole, whole stack of sizes here in the short ones, uh, you know, uh, generally I hear a lot of people recommending that, you know, get the long ones because sure enough you're going to need one you know at some point and then you know a short one won't do where a long one will all right next thing i've been kind of looking for a set of these for a little while but uh these are adjustable i thought i had one of these open already anyway they're adjustable parallels and these are kind of neat tools. It's, again, it's another measuring tool. Everybody should get some of these. It's got a little screw here. Let's see here. Slippery screwdriver. Loosen that up. Yeah. Never been moved yet. Come on. Can you tell these are a set of imports? There. I have to clean these up. Anyway, so you got a dovetail here and it's tapering. So you can put this into a slot, you know, and spread it out to where it fits in the slot and lock it. And then you can measure this and get a very good idea of what the size of that slot is. Uh, something it could be really hard to measure that, you know use a set of gauge blocks or if you got you know um, dowel pins or something that happen to be the right size you could do it like that there's a few different ways uh, Pierre just just did a really good uh, video on how to measure the inside of a large ring 
with some gauge blocks. Uh, you might be able to use this sort of in that kind of a setup too. Anyway, there's those. What else we got? Little magnetic dish. That was only like two bucks. Uh, another Harbor Freight thing. I don't think this thing is going to fail on me too quick. Okay, now for the interesting stuff. I've been looking and looking and looking, trying to find one of these for quite a while. But it's a, it's a micrometer carriage stop for the Atlas lathe. Uh, you know, everybody wants one. There just ain't enough of them out there. So these things are just ridiculously expensive. Uh, I think I paid, I don't know, $100 for that. Uh, I'm thinking about maybe making a copy of this casting. Now that I have one, I can see exactly how they parted it. And, you know, I can do a pretty accurate job of making a new casting. Uh, the really hard part is going to be engraving this wheel. But everything else, you know, you got a little little threading, a little key cutting here. Uh, you know, there's a little set screw, I think. You know, this thing seems awfully free. I had it apart. I believe there's a hole drilled in here. I think there's supposed to be like a, a spring with a small ball bearing in there just to give it a little friction so when you set it, it stays. But uh, anyway, this will clamp onto the 3 8 ways. Probably, it would probably fit onto the half inch one, I would think, too. Anyway, there's that. And then uh, we got part or pieces of, a, of an Atlas taper attachment. I think this is uh, the model 700, 700, 760, I can't remember now. Anyway, we're going to do a separate video on that, but Dave, this is this is all, everything I have. So if you have more than this, you've got more than me. Anyway, guys, that's it. Just figured I would film a short little video here of this. But I'm going to film a little bit more about this tapering attachment right now, so... That'll be loading up pretty soon also. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe for more. And if you have any questions, just leave a comment.